The most expensive project in the world was the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER, project. ITER is a multinational research and engineering project aimed at developing nuclear fusion as a viable and sustainable energy source. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we invite you to embark on an exciting journey of discovery, entertainment, and learning. Hit subscribe button and join our ever-growing community as we explore the wonders of the world together. The construction of ITER involves the collaboration of 35 countries and is being built in Cadaig, France. The project's estimated cost has exceeded $20 billion. However, please note that information might have changed since then. For the most up-to-date information on the most expensive project in the world, I recommend checking recent news sources or authoritative websites. Certainly. The ITER project is a massive scientific and engineering endeavor aimed at demonstrating the feasibility of nuclear fusion as a clean and virtually limitless source of energy. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers the sun, where atomic nuclei come together to release energy. If successfully harnessed on Earth, fusion could provide a nearly inexhaustible and environmentally friendly energy source without the drawbacks associated with nuclear fission, which is currently used in nuclear power plants. Here are some additional details about the ITER project. 1. Collaboration. ITER involves collaboration among 35 countries, including the United States, the European Union, China, Russia, Japan, India, and South Korea. Each partner contributes financially and with scientific expertise. 2. Location. The ITER facility is located in Cadaig, France. It spans over a large area and includes various buildings and installations necessary for the fusion research. 3. Complexity. Building a nuclear fusion reactor is an incredibly complex task due to the extreme conditions required for fusion to occur. In the core of the reactor, hydrogen isotopes are heated to temperatures exceeding 150 million degrees Celsius, creating a plasma state where fusion reactions can take place. 4. Components. The reactor involves various specialized components, including powerful superconducting magnets to confine and control the plasma, a vacuum vessel to contain the plasma, and a complex system of heating and diagnostic instruments. 5. Timeline. The ITER project has faced delays and challenges, partly due to its complexity and the collaborative nature of the endeavor. The timeline for completion has been pushed back over the years, and as of my last update in September 2021, the first plasma, the initial operational phase of the reactor, was projected to occur in the late 2020s. 6. Potential benefits. If successful, ITER could pave the way for the development of commercial fusion power plants, which could produce clean, safe, and virtually limitless energy with minimal greenhouse gas emissions and without the risks associated with nuclear fission reactors. It's worth noting that the ITER project has faced criticism and skepticism due to its high cost, technical challenges, and prolonged timeline. However, proponents argue that the potential benefits of achieving controlled nuclear fusion far outweigh the challenges. For the latest updates on the ITER project, I recommend checking the official ITER website and reputable news sources focused on science and technology developments. 7. Energy Source The fusion process that ITER aims to replicate involves combining isotopes of hydrogen, such as deuterium and tritium, at extremely high temperatures and pressures. This fusion reaction releases a tremendous amount of energy, which can be harnessed to generate electricity. 8. Magnetic Confinement one of the key challenges in nuclear fusion is containing the extremely hot plasma in which fusion reactions occur. ITER uses a method called magnetic confinement, where powerful superconducting magnets create a magnetic field that contains and stabilizes the plasma, preventing it from coming into contact with the walls of the reactor. 9. Superconducting magnets. The ITER project utilizes advanced superconducting magnets that operate at extremely low temperatures. These magnets are crucial for achieving the required magnetic field strength to control the plasma. They are cooled using a complex system of cryogenic equipment. 10. Engineering Innovations The construction and operation of ITER involve numerous engineering innovations. For example, the vacuum vessel that holds the plasma is designed to withstand intense heat and pressure while maintaining a vacuum environment. Materials capable of withstanding extreme conditions are used throughout the reactor. 11. Fuel Cycle ITER will primarily use deuterium and tritium as fuel for its fusion reactions. Deuterium is readily available from water, while tritium can be bred from lithium, which is abundant. The fusion of these isotopes releases high-energy neutrons, which can be used to breed tritium in the reactor itself. 
12. International Collaboration The collaboration among 35 countries on the ITAIR project demonstrates the commitment of the global scientific community to advancing fusion research. The sharing of expertise, resources, and funding is essential for tackling the immense challenges of nuclear fusion. 13. Beyond ITAIR while ITER represents a crucial step toward demonstrating the viability of controlled nuclear fusion, it is not designed as a commercial power plant. The lessons learned from ITER will inform the design and construction of the next generation of fusion reactors, known as DEMO, Demonstration Power Plant, which are intended to produce electricity for the grid. 14. Environmental Impact If successful, nuclear fusion has the potential to be a game-changer in the global energy landscape. Fusion reactors would produce minimal greenhouse gas emissions and would not produce long-lived radioactive waste like traditional nuclear fission reactors. Safety concerns are also significantly reduced due to the inherent nature of fusion reactions. 15. Budget and Challenges One of the ongoing challenges of the ITER project is its budget. The initial estimated cost of the project has increased significantly over the years, raising concerns among stakeholders. The complexity of fusion research, coupled with the collaborative nature of the project, has contributed to these challenges. The project was still in progress, and developments might have occurred since then. For the latest information about the ITER project, including updates on its progress, challenges, and achievements, I recommend visiting the official ITER website and reputable scientific news sources. Thank you for being a part of our incredible journey here at Out Channels. We hope you enjoyed the content and found inspiration. Don't forget to hit that like button if you had a great time and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos.